Huawei Mate 60 Pro with its brand new Harmony OS version 4.2.0.132 is out now and promises some improvements in terms of cameras. And this is why I'm testing it right now with the main camera that we have here with the variable aperture. So what do you think about the quality here in terms of stabilization and face color? It is a bit of a cloudy day today. Um, hopefully sun will come out soon, but uh, we will check out also some photos. But let's just first try to see if uh, going to the ultra wide angle changes anything here in terms of colors how good are the colors there did they improve the colors i think they improved the slightly bit with the pura 70 ultra and i hope that they also brought this improvement back in here to the mate 60 pro as well and of course we have the possibility to zoom in on stuff so let's try to zoom in so we can go to 4x here and uh, switch lenses and then 10x here which is digital crop there on these flowers here, working fine. Also, I think the lens switching, at least on screen, sometimes looks a little bit stuttery. Hopefully, this can be fixed with future software updates as well. And we will check out some photos now to see if the more accurate colors that they uh, say they have here is also working fine. By the way, I'm using the FreeBuds 5. Hopefully, the microphone is picking up nice because we can use the FreeBuds 5, of course, as wireless mic for the uh, Mate 60 Pro as well, hopefully. And uh, yeah, we'll see you uh, just with some photos right now. So let's check out the photos. We start off with the macro photo, which is three and a half times zoom that we have here. You can see all the little details there, a little bit maybe over sharpened, but um, very, very nice indeed. By the way, what you're listening to right now are the internal mics of the Mate 60 Pro. They're also pretty good, as you hear. And uh, yeah, this is a 10 times zoom already. And you can see also the details are a little bit exaggerated. It's a bit of fringing, a bit of like soft, but yeah, for what it's what it is actually three and a half times zoom. I think it's doing quite a nice job, at least it was able to focus here. The other wide angle is doing a nice job, nice and sharp, also towards the edges there. It's a wide field of view. You can see the whole pond here and the greens are nice. I think they improved the colors a little bit there. Also make it match with the colors here of the zoom lens, as you can see here. If I zoom in a bit further, here's the one where I took the 10x zoom from, as you see here. I think the colors are pretty similar. This was some, some issues that we had in the past. And another shot here with the main camera sensor, just as always, very, very sharp, nice indeed. A nice uh, bokeh here. I think this one is using f2. Yes, this is using f2 here right now, so nice and good. This one here is at 10 times zoom already. I found a little moth there sitting on the bird's house. And uh, what you can see here is nice and detailed if i zoom in a bit more you can see a bit of fringing going on but i think up to 10 times the detail level is okayish when we zoom even further this is now 25 times roughly you can see first of all that there's a glare going on so it tries to raise the shadows here and in terms of detail level a little bit blurry maybe a bit of fringing and it's doing yeah, a lot of computational photography to get more detail out of here uh, there are definitely now camera smartphones that perform a little bit better, but keep in mind the Mate 60 Pro came out last year. And uh, yeah, the other ones are a bit newer, have newer sensors and so on, especially the telezoom is a bit newer. Selfies are nice and wide still. I love the colors because it looks very, very realistic and not over punchy. And also the gray in the sky is preserved. You can see even the different shades of gray there, even like a little bird flying there still. Uh, and otherwise, yeah, it's a wide field of view because we have a super wide angle there. But we can also go into 1x and if you use portrait mode, which only works with the 1x, you get also a nice blurry background as you can see. And the only thing that I don't like there is like this fake eye lens flare kind of effect. And also that the yeah, cutout here on the left is okay. On the right, it just cut it out part of the headphones that I was using. Uh, otherwise, doing a fine job. So in general, I'm pretty happy. I see slight improvements only, but nothing that would like get me up and say, okay, I have to raise the points for the Mate 60 Pro on my camera ranking system. But so far, yeah, very good. Nice improvements there. They optimized a little bit the colors. And especially in video mode, I noticed that a lot. And yeah, hopefully they will yeah, improve the system further on.